Deer attacked two men who were leaving their home in White House. KGK's Nicole Val explains it all. Joseph Rose and Cole Tellis left their house Friday morning intending to start their day off early. But when they walked outside, they didn't expect to be attacked by a deer. And I was like, Joey, there's a deer behind my truck. And he wouldn't quit talking. I was like, Joey, there's a buck. The deer scared Rose and Kellis, so they ran to Rose's pickup truck. He came up and started poking me in my ribs, so I kind of grabbed him by the horns and pushed him back and hopped in the back of my truck. Rose said he left his driver's side door open by accident, and then the deer decided to take a little smoke break. He climbed up here, put his front paws on my seat, and got my pack of cigarettes and started chewing them. After Rose tried to get his cigarettes back from the buck, he said the deer got aggressive. They called White House police and the game warden. Officers had to tase the deer. It took more than five men to restrain the wild buck, and some officers got hurt. But he broke a police officer's wrist, kicked a police officer in the leg, and scuffed them all up. Almost every police officer that was here was a minor injury. Rose's truck was damaged as well. Crashed it up right here, and it put a few dents on the other side of the bed. Rose and Kelly say they hunt deer all the time, but this time they felt like the roles were reversed. I bet the deer tried to switch places. I think he was trying to hunt us. Nicole Vowell, KETK News.